John. Let's get on. Good. And you? Got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See, Arthur? Ain't that dumb. <laughs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. Got room for another here. Gentlemen. Come have a seat, Morgan. We're discussing ladies' bloomers. <laughs> a drink in your hand. What a surprise. Just taking the edge off. Hurry up, Mr. You know, Pearson. I'm starving. Hmm. It's coming. It's coming. You know something, Arthur? What? Special to me. All these years. All these things we've done. Good things. Bad things. All these people we've seen passed on. You was always special. Are we living or dying this time, Dutch? I guess we'll find out soon enough. Arthur. Hi, Arthur. Come here a minute. Arthur breaks them, we fix them. That seems to be the way. How are you? You okay? Always busy. Somebody has to do it. The golden boy. Hello, Arthur. You're keeping busy? I'm trying to. Well, put something in the well don't let me stop you. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Always trying to impress. Why do you bother with this nonsense? Take it easy. I'm just needling you. One day I'll understand you, Arthur. Yes. Arthur? What is it? Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you and, well, you know his father's useless. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Hey, how are you? Hi, Dutch. Hello. Anything I need to worry about? Hello, Charlie. Uh, right this minute. Hello, Raymond. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're right. <laughs> it's about time that you started to earn your cape. Okay. Good. 
Let's go get your pole then. Oh, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. I'll mount up and lift you on when you're ready. Let's go then. So, where are we going? Just down to the river near here. We shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Though your mama might disagree. There and a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> it's been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. Really? When? Well, <laughs> we'll see. Got fish to catch first. Right fast, Uncle Arthur. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. You see that there? Easy, easy. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. Just by the water there? You mean? You show me where, Uncle Arthur. I can't wait to get started. First, we need some bait. Are you okay there, Uncle Arthur? I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Smellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Why aren't you fishing? Are you bored of fishing already? Well, 
like that? That's it. Good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. But if you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. You've got a bite, Uncle Arthur? Fish on the line. Pull him in! You see him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Now, well, seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. Look, Jack, it's a bluegill. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. I'm gonna pick some of those red... I like the look of that spot. There we go. This one's a smallmouth bass. Not bad. Fishing sh boring, Uncle Arthur. <laughs> I know. Boring as hell. But then, something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just... Sit, wait, try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Hmm. Hey, look at this. And what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes, Arthur Morgan, Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case, orphaned street kid seduced by that maniac's silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton, Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. You know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. There's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000? For me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little 
Old-fashioned nowadays. Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh... Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. <laughs> You enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. While you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about, no one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. It's getting late, Jack. Your mother will be worried. Let's head back. I don't like it here anymore. Okay, boy. Duchess. Because, well, because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Well, did you like fishing? It was... okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. <laughs> yeah, good boy. All right, boy. I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Ain't I the luckiest? Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, uh, um, Milton and, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train. And they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing. Just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm.
Uncle. <laughs> Hello, Jackie. Hello. Hey, Dutch. Arthur. Ah, I needed this. Yes! Think you're losing your touch. How so? Don't tempt me, you repulsive little maggot! Hi there. You got a good head on your shoulders. I do. Hey, Strauss. Good to see you. All of us have to sing for our supper meal. Sure, and singing's fine, but I'm done with that. And if you want me to leave, then that's fine too. Well, suppose I can discuss the matter with Guts. Do whatever you goddamn please. Horrendous old hag. How dare she? There she is. Why don't you just hey sit down instead of yeah. going about the place? Everything all right? Who does that woman think she is? <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta humor her. How you doing, kid? Well, Bye. I should get back to it. You know. Sorry about Jenny. Sure. Me too. I know you were sweet on her. <laughs> Was it that obvious? <laughs> oh, yeah, pretty obvious. I made sure we buried her carefully. I rolled back and planted some flowers she would have liked. Of course. Least I could do. Thank you. When I go, I hope they cover my grave with roses. <laughs> when I die, I just want to be buried with friends. Mm. Me too, with friends or with family. I don't think it matters more than that. What about you, Arthur? Me? I don't care about that nonsense. Come on. Face me to the west so I can watch the setting sun and remember all the fine times we had that way. See, Tilly? I told you Arthur had a soul. Hi, folks. Might as well rest while you can. Hello there. Hi. Hey. Hey. How have you been, Arthur? Fine, Mary Beth. You see that Mary Gillis? Sure. I saw her. Get over her, Arthur. Oh, it was all a long time ago. Oh. I hope so. Snap out of it, girl. Mr. Morgan. Always good to see you. Everyone behaving themselves around here? Hardly. Say, Morgan. Morgan, you got any hair pomade? Excuse me? You know. Hair pomade. No. Well, if you happen to find some. Sure. I'll buy you some hair pomade. <laughs> okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay then.
What's up, kid? Not much. Well, I had fun fishing. Yeah, me too. So, I lost Mama's thimble. I was playing with it and just lost it. Oh, okay. She's going to kill me. I don't think she'd care too much. It's only a thimble. Oh, no. She will kill me. Well, maybe I can find you another one. You can give it to her. Oh, that would be fine. Thanks, Arthur. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Let me know if you find candy. Lenny. Hey there. Hello. That ambition will see you far. Thanks, Arthur. So up now. They set me up! Come and yep. in man! Yeah, good boy. Easy. Hey, that's out of you! Stay back from the wagon, sir. Transporting a fugitive. Hey! Hey, you! Now, boy.
Well, at least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. I can scrap, Arthur. I'm just not good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I try to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please, eh? Grow up. And let me come on the raid, witches. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns, you're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> me and the big cheeses. Love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Hey, all the horses untethered? Think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's... Remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently, picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See, this is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. You're a funny fella, John Marston. From my folks, eh? You had your feet up the whole time, playing sick and fondling that new scar, but you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Whoa! Hey, get back on! All the horses untethered? Think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently, picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See, this is what I mean. 
I disappear for a couple of weeks and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha <laughs> ha. Ah, you're a funny fella, John Marston. And my folks, eh? You had your feet up the whole time playing sick and fondling that new scar like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. They're left here, towards Rhodes. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Oh, so I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gunner sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> You know, my dad always used to say... Not the dad, no, please. Not this oh. again. Fine. Damn you three. Sulky, angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. So, we blocked the tracks with the wagon, then jumping. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. John, secure the passenger car fast, take charitable donations, and make sure everyone behaves. Little Mr. McGuire, you focus on the baggage car. Grab any valuables you can find. Shoot your mouth. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Hey, remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody needs to die here. Yeah, yeah. Yep. yep. Let's get it on the tracks. Whoa, whoa. Mr. Marston, Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire, yeah. get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I still want to die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. Here she comes. I'm going aboard. Make that quick and join us on there. All right, get on that train. Hey! You bastard. All yours, Captain. We'll go on ahead. There you go. Let's make this quick, people! Come on! We ain't leaving till this bag's full! I ain't got nothing. You wanna have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? Why are you? It ain't worth dying over here. here. Tell him, Mr. Amps. Money! Hey! Don't do this! Just give it to him, Thomas, please! Okay! Come on! Come okay! On. In the bag, God everything you got! Keep it coming, don't be shy. People act like you make me sick. These two seem to think we're playing games. Don't do it. I'm begging you. I want to cap. God damn it. God. Sick is better than dead, lady. And I'm Thank losing you. my goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says so this can be. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Boys, Let's make it. this quick. No, you go ahead and look for the baggage car. Great job. Tough guy, huh? I don't want to get you sure about Why that? Why are you wasting our time? You huh? show this son of a bitch we ain't playing around. Come on! What did I do? No. 
Everything you got. Money, valuables. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend then. Money now! Shut up, bitch. Come on, cough it up, people. Don't be shy. Everything you got. Let's go. Stop it, so I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Okay! None of you folks move a muscle! You hear me? What is it? You alright? Fill the baggage car. For Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet? There's probably something in here, Arthur. to cover try me best brother but i'm seeing double here hey, advice a chance of hitting someone <laughs> very funny oh, oh, gonna have a right old lump on me head at least you ain't got a hole in it are those tennis rackets in there posh bastards just keep your eyes peeled I'm doing me best, all right. I know, that's what's worrying me. You nearly done? Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two arseholes on horses. How many, you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Austin, Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither of you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Eh? There's a few more of them torn enough. <laughs> Man, my big mouth. Okay. Let's deal with them. Last chance there! Look out up! Here come the friends! And we got more coming from the trees there!
Let's just get the hell out of here! We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. Please, we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right, boy. Yeah. Go!
So you, you saw Pinkerton's, did you? Saw, met, and got the full message. And what did you think? I think we're in real trouble, but the only way out is forward. I know. That Blackwater business seems to have finished us. <laughs> 